Okay. That's super low. 80.9. Yesterday it was actually 80.5. So I'm getting super light. I'm two kilos lighter than last week. Really, pretty unhealthy from not eating. So, still strong though. Just got back from the barber shop. Freshly lined up. I'm weighing in at 80.9 kilograms. I'm gonna be treating myself to a nice meal today. Going to be. So what time is it now? It's 2.30 in the afternoon and all I've eaten this morning is this. I had one of these this morning. I had no time, had to get going. So I've got a triple decker lasagna snack. Calories on this, how many kilojoules? 1625 kilojoules and 17 protein, 17 fat and 42 carbohydrates. So very dense for the size that it is. But now, because I'm so light, I'm gonna eat all of this. I'm gonna eat these Asian uh, paper rolls with, what does it have inside? I can't even count the calories in this. It has like meat inside and it ha we have a, I don't know what's called in English. You guys, you Vietnamese guys out there, what does nook mum? translate to in English. And I'm gonna have at least four of these jam donuts with cream in the center. All right, so I'm gonna eat this, and then I'm gonna head off the gym after digesting it after an hour. Eat this first, we'll head off. third single. My hands are starting to get torn across the palm. So it's like little micro grazes across my palm. So little specks of skin are starting to lift up and your hand just stings completely. It's like falling over and grazing your leg and it just stings when you know it comes into contact with anything. So I'll just stop it there. So three singles with 300. That's not too bad. They're all pretty smooth. I'll take that on board and I'll probably head off and do some accessories. So some shrugs probably, and I'll move on to lap pull downs and rows. How's it going guys? That was 300 kilograms for three singles. Hopefully you enjoyed the edit. Let me know what you thought down below. Let's get straight to the juicy stuff. Powerlifting programming and the types of lifters out there. So there are three types of lifters, new, intermediate, and advanced. I'm gonna be speaking about deadlifting specifically today. So forget about squats and bench. This is deadlift specific, it doesn't address those lifts. So the new lifters out there, what I want you guys to do and what you need to think about is the motor patterns and having a balanced physique. So volume style training and more hypertrophy training is gonna work better for you because as a new lifter, I was doing more bodybuilding stuff and I was actually heavier than I was now. And having a good base to work off and gain strength from is always a good idea. So what I'm going to move on to is more the intermediate lifters and how I would apply my training style to an intermediate lifter because this is how I progressed into more advanced powerlifting. As an intermediate lifter, I was doing more volume style training and doing volume style training worked to a certain extent until I needed to push myself further and further each time. And in order to do so, I needed to increase the weight. And as I found, I found this out naturally that as I increase the weight, obviously the volume is going to drop. And over time, I enjoyed lifting heavy weights all the time. And lifting heavy weights all the time 
led me into a Bulgarian style of training. Bulgarian meaning high specificity, high frequency and maximum effort with low reps. And doing this, you will experience more heavy workouts, but you will not be able to do as high volume. And that's okay. Lowering the volume and increasing the weight isn't something that you should shy away from. Even though your coaches out there will probably be giving you high volume programs because that's what a lot of coaches do. Intermediate lifters will see people who've been training as long as them do 50 kilograms or 60 kilograms more than they are doing. And it's very disheartening thinking that you're not making the same amount of progress as someone else. Sometimes you're limited genetically or you're, you don't recover as well as other people, but you need to be making the best of your situation. Make sure your nutrition's on point. Make sure your um, tr training and work ethic's on point and try to apply this. But as I said, there are advanced lifters as well. When you go down to the nitty gritty, like Bulgarian style of training, high frequency and high intensity, an intermediate lifter is not going to be able to recover as well as an advanced lifter because an advanced lifter is more conditioned and more inclined to lift heavier weights because an advanced lifter is not going to feel as jarred with 90% of their maximum as an intermediate or a new lifter would. And an intermediate or new lifter would require high, higher periods of recovery than an advanced lifter would. So simply put, make sure you know your limitations and make sure you know when to take your foot off the pedal when you are training extremely heavy because you are going to experience regression if you are pushing yourself too far without knowing when to stop or injure yourself. So weigh out the risks, know when to push yourself because I implore my um, clients out there to push themselves all the time past the limitations that I've given them. However, they need to weigh out the risks involved and understand that being injury free is probably the most important thing in powerlifting. Hopefully this helped you guys. Please share this with a friend. Be strong, be notorious, be barbell. This is that once in a lifetime.